previously on Shai Mizrahi. I'm actually super excited to do the teleportation video. Oh, look, I, I want to do it right now. Dang it, now I gotta take over the show. Ah, I knew this was gonna happen. Guys, this is not my fault. If he does not come back within the next 24 hours and I have to take over the show, it's probably going to be crap after that. Oh, please come back. Uh, oh! Uh, what's, what's up, guys? How's, uh... Oh. It's me, it's the real shy. Came back from my teleportation trip. Hope my um clone's been taking good care of you guys. Hold on, let's see, let's see how he's done. I'll, I'll explain where I've been in a second. Give me give me a moment. YouTube, library, my videos. The last video was posted um four weeks ago. That son of a Come on guys, we don't swear on this channel. <laughs> what the heck? Why hasn't my clone been taking care of the ch- Four weeks? I promised you guys one every week. That, that clone's gonna pay. I told him that he better take care of the channel if I ever go missing, and I went missing. You know what? Screw the story. I'm not gonna tell you where I've been. You know, when I teleported, I'm gonna to explain to you guys where my clone has been. I'm gonna go grab him, and he's gonna, you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna make a call real quick. Two hours later. Well, that was a that was a stupid idiot, Shimes Rahi, the, with the clone anyway. Okay, guys, here's here's the explanation. Here's where I've been for the past four weeks, and again, I'm extremely so sorry that this happened. But between you and me, I blame the clone. For real, guys, I I'm sorry that I've been missing for four weeks. I don't have an excuse that is valid for as to why I've been gone. There were, there was a massive project I was working on for school. I mentioned it, I believe. The haunted house, uh, how to make a horror film video that I had to make for school. And I was also making a documentary for school, both taking about a month and a half. And I'm, again, I'm sorry. That shouldn't, that should not excuse where, why I've been missing. Um, and I got out of school. I think last week on Friday was my last day. Summer vacation, summer vacation. So clearly things couldn't have been too busy, especially for that last week of school where no one showed up. I believe I wrote down where I was, so I don't forget. Um, I was sick. I was sick one weekend. I do remember that. And then I was filming two weeks ago. And then last week, there was this thing called a spring showcase at school. But again, I could I could have still filmed something on Sunday, and I don't know what must have come up to make me not do that, but something came up. <sighs> okay, so as you guys can probably tell from the title, this video, this isn't like a, uh, oh yeah, shoot, shine's back, time to goof off and stuff. He, oh, he told us the next video is going to be the... Um, the video help video, I believe, I, that's what I said. No, 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 I, like I said, from the title, this is an announcement because first off, I needed to acknowledge where I've been. Second thing I need to do is I need to inform you guys what the plans are for this summer after, again, extremely apologizing to you guys, my, my faithful viewers, my 70 subscribers, you guys have been pulling me through. It's not a lot of subscribers, but I'm not asking for that. I'm asking that I can deliver what I've promised you. And so far, I haven't done that very well. Oh, what? Talk about unprepared, my camera battery's not. I could have sworn I charged you last night. You're in for it, man. Camera, you're dead. Well, I mean, I guess you're about to be. If I don't hurry up. Okay, stop talking, Shy. We gotta get through this. Okay, you guys ready for the plans for the summer? Demo reels, highlight reels, short films, music videos, and I am, ooh, man, guys, let me just tell you, I'm pretty excited for the music videos because I have so I've, I've like found so many songs and I'm like that would be a great music video for me to do whoa man I would be so cool if I could do a music video for that video music thing uh, whatever oh so many ideas just in and out and holy cow guys let me just tell you that these ideas I'm writing down for the past like couple of days I gotta write all this crap down or I forget because I have so many ideas now, um, here's actually a couple of videos I highlighted that I think I want to do. Things like 
how to be creative because I know that's a thing that I got really stumped on when I first started doing YouTube and stuff. I was just, just like, wow, how do I get all these ideas? How do I make videos? What is something my viewers would like? So then I would look up, hey, what's a super cool vlog, you know, like, uh, topic or whatever, and I wouldn't find anything because it's not my channel or none of the answers were. I needed something that was me, and that's what I needed to put out there. So maybe that'd be a good video for you guys. Maybe some tutorials on magic and stuff, like the hot shot trick, if you guys have seen that. Um, or talk about misdirection. Uh, mostly from this book I started reading called Tricks of the Mind by Darren Brown. Super good by, got him. Super good by the way, if you guys were interested. I'll leave that in the link in the description box below. This one I'm going to make for sure, I don't know when, but I want to talk about ethics within the magic community. That'll come on later. I'm going to be, okay, after this video, after this video specifically, expect that video that I've been talking about that I was working on for almost two months, a horror film how-to, that's coming on next. Um, before I actually like put it on, I want you guys to know that that month and a half was extremely difficult, nothing ever went as planned, and it was absolutely aggravating, it was so frustrating, but we finished, and... That video, I've never worked on a video like that. I never purposely planned out for weeks at a time what I wanted that video to look like. <clears throat> oh, but it was interesting because I don't think I've ever been more uh, happy with a video, I guess, like more uh, proud of it. Because I was like, I worked on that video. I filmed that video. I was in that video. Like I was just so focused on this thing. It turned nothing, like it didn't turn out in any way how I wanted it to be. It was nowhere even close to how I wanted that video to look but when it was done i was freaking proud of that video i was like that is my video i made that and i i'm gonna start doing it more i'm i was really proud of how that that how you know how it turned out um uh, i wanted to do some magic performances i wanted to do some more vlogs uh, i was thinking about maybe doing a psa or two bloody mary or like dumb horror stories and just make fun of horror stories that one that one i would be really interested in doing making fun of horror stories i feel like that'd be super fun by the way if you haven't seen me flashing this notebook around which i clearly introduced earlier i i'm reading from this so i don't forget what to say solid this is gonna be super hard to color grade because I got a tan and I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I'm like, oh man, I look tan. But also, it's gonna be weird to like fix this skin in Premiere Pro. Stop yawning, we're filming. Oh, sorry. Moving on. Okay, now for the video help video and the Camp Barton documentary trilogy, all that stuff, I'm, I'm putting it on hold. Mm. Getting rid of that for now, okay? And the reason being, you ready? Come here, come close. I don't think I'm ready. Now what I mean by that is like, oh yeah, I could totally tackle that right now. I could totally just mm, give you guys those videos. I could serve it to you on a platter. But what I want to do is I want to make it a four course meal on a silver platter, all right? As I mentioned before, that film, the horror film, took a month and a half to make and prepare and all that stuff and I was really proud of that. So I want to do the same for the rest of the videos. I want to do the video help and the Barton trilogy. I want to make sure that those are good, something that can stay on the channel that I'll be proud of in the next year. That is the kind of thing I'm looking forward to making, all right? That's what I'm, that's my goal. So that's why I'm putting it off, so it, it'll be more prepared. It'll be more epic with a Q-U-E, epic way. Also, I kind of felt like a Camp Barn trilogy would be more of a, like a summer kind of thing. Okay guys, the last part to this video, because we're done talking about plans for the most part. Um, I want to talk to you about a tragedy, something that really impacted my life very, very, very recently, as in the past week. <sighs> okay guys, this is really hard for me to talk about. Um, so, for the, this past school year, filming I have found to be my absolute passion and it is the one thing that I'm looking forward to when I grow up. Clearly I'm not grown up yet. This year in the cinematography department has really, really changed my life. The teacher has decided to take a job at a different school um, and he's, he's an excellent teacher he's the best um and he really really changed my look on things um to i'm gonna give him a name so you know it doesn't get weird trying to describe who i'm talking about uh we'll name him mr sir 
If you guys get that reference, <laughs> if you don't get that reference, then uh, anyway, so Mr. Sir, <laughs> Mr. Sir has really, really changed my life. Um, he's really made me realize how much I love film and how much I'm willing to put effort into it. I think the biggest lesson I learned this year was that preparation will top any kind of quality. It's all on the mindset and the preparation putting into it, and the camera angles, the camera movement, the lighting, the audio, that stuff matters. Not the type of camera you're using, not the kind of filters or the lenses you're using. It all matters on the preparation and the reasoning you're putting specific things where you have it. But when he left, when Mr. Sir left, it really hit me that next year, it's not gonna be the same without him because he showed me more of who I am than I have found in myself in the past four years. I'm sorry, this is getting really hard to talk about. I'm glad I chose the name Mr. Sir because that's making me less emotional. The three of us showed up to the meeting. It was an emergency meeting because we only found out the day that he took us to go talk. It was an emergency meeting. I went down there and there were only three of us that showed up. And he said, I'm so glad it was just the three of you because you guys are my top students. You guys are the ones I care about the most. And you guys are the ones that clearly show like passion into this field. You guys are the ones that always like keep coming with those videos. You guys, if it sucks, it doesn't matter because I can see the effort you guys put into the video. And he said, next year, yeah, I'm not going to be here, but you're going to have a different teacher. And I'm not saying you guys are going to teach the classroom. You guys, I can clearly see, are going to be the leaders of that classroom. You guys need to direct what's happening. And that really hit me because I didn't really think I affected my teacher that much in the way that he affected me. And it also made me think that, dang it, he's right again. It doesn't matter how much crap I make, because as long as I'm putting the effort into it, that's really what matters the most. The other thing that really just, I was thinking, I just thought about this today. I was watching a TV show on Netflix, and I just had a deck of cards in my hand, and I was just springing just <laughs> repeatedly over and over and over again. And then, it goes to the next episode, but the screen goes black for a second, and I can see my reflection in the TV as I'm springing, and that's when it hit me. People, when they see me do magic, are like, whoa, that's crazy, what, that, oh man, you just did a spring with the cart, what, oh, my, my brain's exploded. It made me realize, holy crap, look what you can do. If I were me two years ago, three years ago, I would be begging future me every single day to teach me to do that. <sighs> because, crap guys, that's not normal. Normal people don't spring cards, they don't know how. It's not a normal thing to do, it's a skill. And I didn't think about that. Because when people compliment me like, wow, that was sick, do that thing again. I was like, yeah, this is a normal thing for me. I never even thought once in the past three years how cool that thing is. I'm not trying to give myself appraisal or anything. I'm setting myself up for the next piece of advice I'm about to give you guys. It's cool that I can do that and I never once thought to myself, you have come far. I don't I don't think I do that enough, to be honest. I'm not saying I'm I don't want to brag. This ironically this piece of advice is about humility. But I don't think I, you know, like tell myself good job. I don't think I tell myself keep doing that good work because I I don't think that way. I always think I need to do better than I am. I think that's what motivates me most of the time, but I do think I need to ease off sometimes. After I saw that, it really made me think and I turned off the TV. So for this past year, if you guys remember Brayden, he was from a couple vlogs back. All right, everybody, this is Brayden. This is the magic man of Utah before I came around. So we're just waiting for him to boost his morale to 100% so he can become the better magic man than me. Brayden, a friend of mine named Caleb, and of course I mentioned this guy a couple times on my channel, Ken123Films. They really made me think today. So Brayden and Caleb are the two magicians that I'm teaching right now. Brayden. I'm so proud of Brayden, and I can't tell you how proud I am of him. I didn't do much at all, if I'm being so honest. I did almost nothing, and Brayden has just taken off. He's just, he's soaring right now, and he's doing such amazing work, and I'm so proud of him. He's doing such amazing things right now. I can't tell you that I did anything because I didn't, but every day I hear compliments about him. I'll get on my bus, and people are like, yeah, man, Brayden was showing me this magic trick, and it blew me away. And that made me think, wow, imagine all those compliments that I got in the past years. 
and now I can see someone else doing the same thing that I did. That's just so cool to me. That people can A, follow me, and they can do amazing things, or B, they can, I can inspire people and they can keep going like Brayden has. He has just, he just left the nest all on his own, and he's been taking off, and he's just been getting higher and higher, and again, I couldn't be more proud of him. And then my friend Caleb, I've been teaching him. Uh, this is more of a master-student kind of thing. He's asking me constantly about things. What cards should I get? Uh, what moves should I be learning? How do I perform this? Uh, there's this move that's a little bit knacky. Can you come over and help me? We're literally neighbors, so I can come over whenever I want. Or he'll ask me, you know, like he'll have this trick that I taught him. He's like, okay, I've been working on it. What do you think? Well, if I'm going to be honest, I think you could do a little bit more work on the eyes because you start looking at your hands when you do the slides. And again, eye movement carries their eye movement to where you're looking. Like, you're right, I need to fix that. And then he gets better at it. Again, I couldn't be more proud of Caleb. He's just doing so well. And I'm super sorry, I almost started crying there. He's been doing amazing. And Ken123 Films, if you're watching this, thank you so, so very much. Um, I know you probably don't even think you did anything, but you really have. When I see you doing your films, when I see you making your, your slides and stuff, it's just so amazing. And I'm not trying to flatter you at all, I'm just, holy cow, man. When I see you do your stuff, I think to myself, holy crap, I am not worth anything compared to this guy. And I think it's really humbling for me because I need to, I need to take a step back. Because it's that exact thinking that gets me where I am right now. Where, oh yeah, springing's nothing. Thinking that, oh yeah, man, anybody can do a spring, what are you, what are you guys complimenting me for? That's exactly the kind of thinking I need to stop. Ken123 Films, when I see you do your pass, or you're making tricks and you're putting it on Theory 11, like, oh my goodness, please continue, because that is the kind of thinking that we need to look forward to, and those are the kind of people that we should be looking up to. It's people like you that really make me think like, wow, I'm really not worth as much as I think, and I need to step up my game. I need to get better, I need to work harder, and it's not just in magic, I mean this for anything. There was the Utah High School Film Festival I think I mentioned a couple videos back, but when I went to that thing, like, my mind was blown. When I saw those highlight reels, I was not even surprised it's not win first place or anything. I was like, I don't even deserve to be up on the honorable mention or anything because these kids are so talented and they work so hard. I need to really just figure out where I am in all of this because I need to work harder. I need to think harder. I need to think bigger. I need to do much, much bigger. I'm trying to think of how I can explain to you guys what these past couple weeks have been for me. But honestly, I can't even begin to fathom how I'm feeling right now. I feel exhilarated and excited and proud. And at the same time, I feel like I need to do better, I'm not that good, and there's so much more I could be doing. And that's where all this motivation is coming from to work harder for this channel as well. I need to channel everything that I'm feeling right now, and I need to put it into this channel. I need to work harder. I'm not that good, but I could definitely do better. I need to think bigger and do much, much bigger. Guys, I know this announcement was a little bit long, and I'm extremely sorry that you guys have had to sit around for all of this, but I love all of you, and Again, so, so sorry for not being here in the past four weeks, but it won't happen again. It's, it's summer, all right? There's no excuse as to where I'm, like, why I'm not going to be here. And again, I think I mentioned a couple videos back. I'm planning to do three or four videos a week now, so that leaves me three or four days off. I think that's a solid plan. <sighs> There's so much stuff happening right now, and I'm just... I'm so excited to just throw it all at you. Not so that you guys are like too busy like, oh, oh, I gotta catch all the fun videos. I mean like, just be ready for a much better me. Much better videos, much better channel, and I think most importantly, a much better community between all of us. Yeah, one more time, I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video and staying tuned if you've stayed tuned this long. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!